Our next show on Climate Camp TV comes from Scotland. It's the Climate Camp in Scotland. OK, we've got three people here talking about it. Um, could you introduce yourselves? Um, hi, I'm Jake. I'm Nicholas. Kirsty. So, can you tell us how the Climate Camp went? Uh, yeah, the Climate Camp was really successful. Um, basically, uh, Climate Camp Scotland was held on an ongoing protest site um, which is called Mainsill Solidarity um, Camp and it's on the site of a uh, proposed coal mine um, in which, if it goes ahead, will, be, um, will lead to the digging out of 1.7 million tonnes of coal. Um, and it's in, um, it's in South Lanarkshire, which um, is set to become one of the most heavily mined areas in Europe. Um, so, can you tell us some highlights? What were the exciting things happened at the camp? Um, we had three journalists arrested. That was probably uh, one of, the, well, for me anyway, being involved in the media tent, that was one of the most interesting things that happened. I um, felt fairly responsible for that one. Um, we also, uh, Kirsty authored a, a very um, uh, important study, a coal health study, which has uh, become an ongoing project and that resonated with the local community and also the media and became a major part of the strategy. So is coal harmful when they actually dig it out of the ground? It is, in fact. The little particles that are lofted into the atmosphere, the ones that are less than 2.5 microns, so a micron is a hundredth of a millionth of a meter, uh, they get lodged in your lungs and then a, your lungs walls them off to protect yourself. So then your lung becomes covered with scar tissue and you don't have enough surface area to perform respiration. They call it chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and the coal miners, the underground coal miners used to get it. But now just the regular people in that area are getting it because they have so many concurrently running open cast coal mines. Right, sounds serious. Um, can you give us some web addresses for these, these protests and the information? So the web address for the protest? Um, well, in terms of Mainsill Solidarity, you can find it on the net. Um, it's an ongoing... Um, site so people should definitely go up and visit it um, as I say it's in one of the most well it's going to be one of the most heavily mined areas in Europe unless something is done about it. Do you have to be an activist to go up there? Uh, no not at all um, I mean that's I think that's why Climate Camp Scotland was so successful um, is because lots of lots of different people came along and they learned skills on the site such as tree climbing um, tunnel digging and also they just got involved in in a campaign that not only is supported by activists but it also has massive local support. Um, so the locals came down um, on a day-to-day -day basis, showed their support, got involved in the running of the camp and uh, are still supporting the ongoing Solidarity Camp. And have you got a web address for your report? I do. It's at coalhealthstudy.org. Cool. Um, just finally, what, what do you think of the, the London climate camp? Does it compare? Um, it's a, a lot more fun and a lot less do-it-yourself. That was Jake's observation, I think that's true. Um, the weather's more mild. <laughs> and there are fewer midges, I think, as okay. well. OK, OK. Welcome. Well, we, we, we really appreciate the lack of midges here. Um, <laughs> keep tuned in. There'll be another show coming up in a moment.